let's try. <laughs> I, I, think it's, I think the idea of having a witness to your life is really beautiful. And there are people like Ken's parents that made it 54 years and your parents that made it. And I don't know if that was generational. You know, I think at least in LA, like Ken said, a lot of people are more in love with their, their careers than they are the idea of finding someone. And then if you have achieved at a level someone has achieved, it, sometimes it's hard to find a way to come together. I have not lost hope mm. in it, and I, you know, I'm of a certain age, you know, but because I'm now that they all, everybody divorced, and you can get, give them that. <laughs> 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 That's true. And they learn some things. In 20 some years, and learn some things. Snatch them up now. But, um, you know, maybe it'll happen one day for me, maybe it won't, but I do know that the most important thing for me has been the family that you make with your friends, mm -hmm. and that, I have friendships that are 30 years long, 40 years long, and that has been the people that have witnessed my life. So I don't feel like I lost anything because I didn't get married and have kids, you know. So so I just want to, I've always said this, single women and even single men, don't let society decide that your worth comes from whether you're married or whether you have kids. You need to define the life that you're going to have. Yes. Right? And as long as it's something that makes you happy, then it's worthwhile. So remember that. Well, I believe in love. <laughs> and I believe in partnership. Yeah. And I believe in marriage. But, but I ain't never doing that shit. <laughs> 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 I was waiting for that. No, honestly, I would do it for the tax <laughs> or health insurance. <laughs> judgmental place to be in you know and but I also do feel like I can be happy and be with somebody and not be married and I'm okay with that too yeah. Yeah. so it's never something unfortunately like my parents never pressured me to do that and so it could be either way I don't have a feeling like it could never happen or it should never happen or you know maybe it will but it's not something that I put pressure on myself for because yeah. I make a lot of money <laughs> where it went from a friendship to a relationship and then maybe y'all were no longer cool. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was bad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really think that's a good idea. I think if you're, it, sometimes it just depends. If you start as friends, but if, I, I feel like if it's a friend and then an old friend, you have been friends for years and then you fall in love, possibly. But if I met you a couple months ago, I was like, you're my friend. And then, you know, <laughs> We drinking late night. <laughs> 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 and then, then I realized I don't really like you like that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. I feel some kind of I don't suggest that. Yeah. I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> Can I ask that because on the show, would you like to see them get together or you think that would be a terrible idea? Which ones? The kids. Oh, kids, no. I would, I, I would love I to see them get together. together. I think they're great together. And I think when you watch the season, you're going to fall in love with the two of them individually and you know and collectively. And collectively. Yeah. <laughs> We're not bitter, by the way. They <laughs> never worked on a project together. So what was that experience like? Oh we're not speaking now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. It's real talk. It's the real well, listen, <laughs> it, for me, as I've been saying, I've been a fan of these two for a very long time. Kim and I were both in Cleveland. Uh, she was on a great show called Sparks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, and just, and we had an interview today, and she said, she said earlier, so, earlier today on the interview, she was like, oh, yes, when I saw Kim on Amen. And Sherman Hensley's mom. I was like, no, I was trying to stop her. She wasn't in no goddamn. No. You know what they do? Anyway, you know what they do? Amen. Yeah. And the Jesus. These two are such fools that they. 
they don't allow me to give them their flowers. And so I thought Kim was trying to stop me from saying how much I love her, and she really was trying to help me because I said the wrong show. But let me say it right now. When I was in high school, Kim was already in college, and she was on Sparks. I used to watch her. And then I loved teaching since Rags to Riches when she was Oh, that was you that watched that show? That was me. That was me. And so the opportunity, thanks to Allison, to get to work with these two queens has been everything for me. And so my whole dream was, and I have a list of people that I love like that, like I felt like if I ever get on the set with them, I will have achieved enough to be worthy to act with these two amazing actors. So for me, it was literally like, I, mean, I called Tisha crying when I got the show. I called her crying and said, I can't believe we're finally going to have this moment. And Kim, I don't know if you remember this, one of the first things I did, I, don't, I haven't told you this a long time, one of the first things I did was a short film with you and Buddy. Do you remember this? I didn't think you remember Buddy Lewis? Buddy Lewis. It was one of the first things I did. I had like one line and I came on set and was so nervous to just to meet you. You remember? Do you remember this? Was that was Kevin Hart there? No, baby, it was just, you. it was, way this was probably 96, 97. I have to look at Joy MDB. It ain't the film was. Was it real? Was it a real film? Or was we tricking you? It was a stupid film. Buddy was nasty. It could have been a trick. Was it was it on Amen? Yeah, it was like 90, probably 96. Wow. That's wow. I didn't okay. Yeah. Well, what I tell you is a joy to have the kind of support on the set with these women. Like we, we definitely like we gift each other jokes. Like we want the other person to win. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like so, it's so much fun to be able to go to work and then. I gotta hand it back to Allison Faust because she created such an amazing environment yes. from the grips to the PAs to the glam to the it's everybody, the electricians, everybody, the crew. You every, got an idea, share it. This yeah, is all be funny she, and happy to go. She's a, she's so open and it's a rarity. Like yes. for a lot of you out there who are just getting to know us and will get to know us more, um, get to know this one because Everything happened because of her. And we said yes because of her. And um, I worked with her on My Wife and Kids, and I always knew that if an Allison Faust script was going to come in, I knew I, 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 I trusted it. And, and it was easy on My Wife and Kids. And so when she called me, um, I don't even know if she, she's, I think she said later, it was a nervous call. You were nervous or something? To, well, I, I thought it was going to be a no. And I said yes immediately. Yeah. I was like, if it's Allison Faust, she, and, and sometimes you don't even understand the power that you have because you're a good person, you're a talented person, hard working, hard working and to know that we were in capable hands like that. And you got to understand, the, the sitcom genre sometimes could be so dated and corny mm -hmm. and, and she, I knew I could trust her to make sure that we were current mm -hmm. and that it was funny and had heart. Mm -hmm. So I knew I was in good hands with her and then this was the icing on the cake. I don't yeah. even remember our call. Do you remember how I got, I did it? Yeah, you I called each and every one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't. Well, okay, we'll get to the cake. We'll get to the <laughs> But honestly, I thought all three of them would say no. And not because I didn't think the material was good, but because they're so funny and so busy. Mm -hmm. They stay booked. They stay working on something else. And I've known them for years, each and every one differently. And I was like, this is going to be me or some white guy will call them. Mm -hmm. And they'll do that project, you know, with a major studio or something. I didn't know. But off of the strength and the fact that I believed in them, I called and said, I have a part that's perfect for you. I could see each and every one of them in these individual roles. And, and you know, I did the right thing. I sent them the script. I'm not just pulling your leg. I'm not just messing with you. It's funny. I think it's funny. And they responded and hit me back and said, yeah. And I was like, really? <laughs> and, and it meant a lot to us, too, that bounce 
was already gifting you 60 episodes. That meant that you believed in her as much as I believed in her. And so when you did call, again, it was just an easy yes. And then we got this one. Once it was us, it was amazing, right? And then when they went after her. We jumped her. We jumped her. We called her and said. Talk to Sherry Shepard. I'm like, yo, what we got to do? You know? So, yeah. yeah, yeah, and Kim had what you had two days to decide. I had two days to decide, and I did call Sherry and Sherry, same thing. But this is the thing, ladies you, you both the first thing out their mouth, I don't have a script, I don't have nothing. Mm -hmm. It was like, you know, Allison Bowles. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 she funny. I love Allison. We'd be partying and hanging together. It's like, no, Kim, she created the show. I was like, Allison. <laughs> they were like, we got to do this for Allison. I was so excited. I couldn't believe she had her own show. It was just a thing where you're just, you're like, Allison finally got her shot. Hell yeah, let's do this. So that's pretty much it. This is a thing. But Kim did tell me if I had done this show without her, she would have jumped me. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I, would, I, I probably would have lost my mind. This yeah. is the thing, too, guys, that, that I think you feel from all of us is that we really all we got. Right. Yeah. Right. right. And so when when someone has an opportunity, when your sister has an opportunity to win, you show, to to win, win. You show up right. for your sister. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things in this industry where it's cutthroat and people stabbing people in the back and mm -hmm. step. It, it ain't got to be that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can come together and help and support each other and make somebody else's dream come true. Because the blessing is that we have yours. The fact that we showed up for her, we get to be on something really amazing. But we did it for her. This is actually we really just hijacked special. it. We talk about it. Oh, we just hijacked it. It's going to my next question. <laughs> Look, would you have to talk about it? Now, my next has to be a lot. So, were there times that y'all surprised each other? Like, I didn't know she was about to say that or do that. She should surprise me every single day. <laughs> I would have to warn Kim oh of stuff that I was about to do. Kim, she she gone. So, I will, I will, I will. I'm, I'm not going to break. I can do it. <laughs> no. 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 I'm going to start laughing. She'll start laughing. She's the first one to go. But, but you know what I found and I discovered this in the freedom that she gave us. First of all, it's on the page. Absolutely. Everything Absolutely. that they write, the writers and Allison write, it's on the page. Absolutely. It's so easy to play. But then I found that I understood my process because she gave me the freedom to do that. Where, you know, when I'm working, I try to find the funny in between the lines. And so even though it's there, I'm, I'm trying to figure out and put the pieces and puzzles together so that I could step it up. And I realized that that was actually Martin's process. And so I learned a lot from him. And now she's allowing me to do it on my own terms. I'm not playing the girlfriend. I'm not playing the maid. I'm not playing the wife. I'm not playing the prostitute. These women have means. And they are um, they're, they're doing their thing. And so it's, it's, it was a great way to figure out this new way of working with the freedom that we have. And with every character being so perfectly drawn, you know what I mean? Like if you just look at the dance thing we did, each each of these women danced exactly how you would expect them to dance, right? And so, that was the first time I really noticed how you would dance. Oh, Angela's a mess. She's a mess. She's really bougie, she, you know? And, 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 right, so the whole point is each of us we knew where our lane was, and so we would dance in our lane. We got to dance in front of nobody else. We got to trip nobody while they're dancing, right? Figuratively, we get to dance in our lane and celebrate and shine with each other. There's room for everybody we to love shine. love to watch each Absolutely. other shine. I, listen, I learned so much from the two of them. I just literally yeah, watch and go, that's how you do that joke. Okay, let me see if I do no. this. Absolutely, I do. I steal from the best. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> so it's important to just make sure that you understand that there's just enough to go around. You don't have to be, you know, Elbowing your sister, just mm -hmm. dance your dance. Yeah. I, was just say, I didn't yeah. think that painting was that bad. <laughs> 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 So she would see me in it. And then to the back? I, you know, I still have them. I might give them away. 
But I was I wanted you to see that I appreciated them. It just not my color. But that was I thought that was your little sorority. It was that, that was sherbet. Wow. Wow. She gave me she gave me wait a minute, she gave me sherbet colored Uggs with three bowls in the back. <laughs> and y'all look at me. I usually wear black. So that sherbet, I was like, well, why is it sherbet? Why are you looking at me judging? I, I thought they were cute. They're very cute, and that's why I wore them. I wore them for you. Okay. But but they weren't they weren't my style. Now, I'm going to wear them again for no, you. No, I appreciate it. If you give it to somebody that would really like them. Will like them? Like okay. Yeah, it's okay? Oh, absolutely. When we said we wanted to tell the truth, I wanted to tell the truth. No, but no, I wore them for you. And she loved them when I wore them. She was like, they look so good on you. I was like, thanks, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually dressed as a maid or a prostitute. Well, all the shows that I've done, it's the truth. I mean, I've done it all. But never have I been able to wear such nice, beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, y'all put some money into this. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you, Dr. Smith. Yeah. It took him weeks to get used to being dressed well. She used to walk out from the dressing room and come straight to me and go, is this? Is this what I'm supposed to wear? I'm, I'm just at home. Am I supposed to look this nice? <laughs> I'm gonna fight you. You're like, yes, Kim. <laughs> Even when, when it comes up some uh, episodes in the office, yeah, and you're like, you're a boss. I was like, okay, I'm a boss. <laughs> the outfits were so tight and so nice. Then I found out some of them how much they cost, and it just made me. But you know what? Isn't it crazy that that's the trauma that we go through as black actresses? The idea that she's this far in her career, and this is the first time she's been dressed in things that make her feel beautiful, and that you know. Because listen, let me tell you something. I play so many roles where my character is supposed to have money, some means, and they go to like no shade to these these stores. I shop there as well, but they'll go to Ross and Macy's. I mean Ross and um and but you were Marshalls for me, right? And then I remember I was on a show where one of the the white actresses was home, well, not homeless, but she was poor, and she was carrying a Prada bag. Mm. And my purse came from Ross Dress for Less and had a twelve ninety nine price tag in it. Wow. And so the idea that we're not, cause my my um my character had a, had a business, but she wasn't allowed to be beautiful or well thought of, and they would put a, a muumuu on me and belt it and go, that's good enough, mm. right? Where the other people had clothes that were tailored. On this show. We all get our clothes tailored. Our clothes fit our bodies to the sea. That's what Alice Allison, our wardrobe Allison, what Bounce has allowed for us. This is the first time I feel like I'm actually a star on a show. Mm -hmm. And I've done I don't know how many series. That's the next And it's challenges too. Yeah, I putting money, money into this show. Yeah. So, th so it made us feel like you guys believed in us. And valued us. And, and valued I, us. That's how I wanted you guys to feel. And that's how I want the audience to feel. Yeah. Like we deserve this. We deserve this. Yeah, to I don't think like you this. understand that it really is unprecedented. It really is, guys. And we really do appreciate it. Yeah. And you know, I want to ask, what does it mean to act your age? Is that an insult when somebody says that to you? No. Allison, you, you tell it to your daughter, she gets an attitude. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's funny because my daughter, when she first heard the title, she did get an attitude because if I had said that to her, She's like, what you talking about? I'm growing. I act my age. You know, she'd get mad. And I found the younger people took offense to it. But then you turn around and tell them to me, I'm 57. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> I've never been 57 before. I'm not supposed to have <laughs> So, I, and once we started thinking about it in those terms, what does it mean? When you get to that question, what honestly does it mean? Who gets to tell you how to act? After a certain age, who gets to tell you to do anything? Right? Mm -hmm. I don't know, like after, after I, I'm 51 now, but when I was 40, 
I, that's when it clicked for me. When I turned 50, I was like, good luck, everybody. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> wear what I want to wear, do what I want to do. I think that's what a part of being a, a what do you know, a grown ass woman? Yeah. Grown ass women. Grown ass women. So, you know, it doesn't even bother me. Say I'm still going to do what I want to do. And y'all look way younger. I keep seeing the golden mm-hmm. girls comparison when I see the right ups. I'm like, this is what well, we say. We say a young golden girls, but we have so whoopies saying today. She said, um, golden brown girls. And the last thing I want to ask you is, what do you want people to take away from this when they see the show? Oh, for me, well, you know, uh, I just want people to really have a place to go and to escape Mm -hmm. and to laugh (laughs) and to and and women to see themselves of all colors. Yes. To to see them with their girlfriends because one thing we we talk about, I say with my friend and some of them are in the audience. We always like, when we get this age, we gonna all get a big house and we gonna live together. <laughs> we all we had we said that, but we didn't know it could really happen. And this show shows that it can. You know what? If you 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 all put your funds together, get a nice big old house and kick it. You know, if you wanna watch Sports Center, go on in your room and watch it. <laughs> 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 I think for me, you know, I, you know, I, 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 one of my guilty pleasures sometimes is watching reality shows, but sometimes it feels so dirty afterwards. And and when you're when you're able to um, just watch a sitcom to escape and to have some joy and and heart and laughter, I think that's what I want. You know, everybody to come out of and to see women who are you know, uh, are supportive and upscale and and all of these things. I I want them to see us. What I have always thought and I've said is that black is universal, right? Often when it's a a black show, which this is not a black show, we just happen to be black women on the show, but it's not a black show. But sometimes when it's a black show, they feel they gotta jack it up. Mm -hmm. They gotta knock it up. We're human beings. We we have husbands, ex-husbands, kids, lives, just like everybody else. And in the same way, I was a kid watching the Golden Girls. I wasn't white, I wasn't old, I wasn't retired in Florida, but I enjoyed those amazing women and got to see their lives. And what I hope people take away is that Allison Files has created for this generation a version of that, a golden brown version of that, where no matter what your age is, your gender is, your race is, you can come in and see what Keisha Bernadette and Angela are doing this week and enjoy the fun that we bring. And these beautiful babies, Mariah Robinson and Nathan Anderson, I want to give them their love. They're we have great guest stars coming. We have Loretta Devine. We have a Valerie Pettiford. We have Selma Hopkins. We have Gary Anthony Brown. We have Phil Morris. Like this is going to uh, Loretta Devine. I say that this yes. is going to be an amazing ride for all of us. It is. We're your family now. So so check in with us every Saturday on on Bounce. And we got two episodes coming on March fourth. And I hope you love it. And if you don't know what Bounce is, go to bouncetv.com forward slash find us. Forward slash find us. And just so you know, we'll be available on Brown Sugar the app. day after brownsugar.com for more info. Yeah. All right, Allison, any last words from you? Show well, this to everyone who watches. And um, thank you, Allison. I just have one thing to say. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, it, it, it really is coming out of nowhere. I don't know what's wrong with me. But um, this, uh, this week that we've had, of press. I've been on a lot of shows, and I had a friend of mine say they really did some good press for y'all. Mm-hmm. When I say uh, this press team, um, the people that put this together, we have gotten, and we're still uh, in the midst in the midst of our press. But I, I've done TV shows, and I don't know if I've gotten press like this. We're going to be with Angela Yee right now. Right. right. And, 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 and they will be on way up with Angela Yee. Absolutely. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yes, we will. Today's show. So I want to thank them for putting it uh, together. Uh, you all did an amazing job. Uh, and Thank you for believing in us. Yes. So grateful. And is Brad here? Brad's here. He, Brad. 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 He, 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 he just left. He was right. He was sitting right there. Oh, I didn't call him or text him. I told him not to go nowhere. And I was like, here, yeah, we act like I borrowed some money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just wanted to say that because it has been a really, I'm exhausted. It's been yeah. a great, uh, great, great week. And you still got press to do everybody got yeah. it. Well, thank you guys so much, and it really has been an honor for me to be up here with you. Thank you. It's been an honor for me, too. So thank you. Uh, these powerhouses that I have known for
for darn near 27 years. Yvette Nicole Brown, Tisha Campbell, and Kim Whitley, you got a hit on your hands. Most definitely. Nobody asked me to guest star, but that's okay. Y'all got a hit on your hands, and I am excited to be a part of the family every single week. I am excited. This is what the world needs right here. And I love that women, grown ass women, are doing a show and showing you that it gets greater later. Oh, that's lovely. Today's show, we have this great screen here. It's been like, it's never happened to me before. We're just starting the show. Thank you so much.